Well, hello there. You're watching the Weiss channel. De, 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 de. All right. Today, we are going to do rhombus diagonals, the angles. Okay. So we're going to look at this rhombus here. Remember what a rhombus is? In a rhombus, all four sides are equal, meaning this side is equal to this side, equal to this side, equal to this side. All four sides are equal, okay? All right. Now, in this, in this problem, all right, it says angle QRT is 57 degrees. So first of all, what's angle QRT? All right, angle QRT, you start, remember you start at Q, you go to R, and then you go to T. There's QRT, meaning this angle here is 57 degrees. Okay. Now, in a rhombus, in a rhombus, the diagonals bisect the angles. Huh? What does that mean? That means this. That means this angle is equal to this angle. Those are equal, okay? It means that this angle is equal to this angle. That means that this angle is equal to this angle. And it means that this angle is equal to this angle. Okay. So angle QRT is 57. And it says angle SRT is negative X minus two. SRT, what's SRT? Well, SRT is gonna be, let me use this color. Okay. SRT, start at S, right? You go to R. Then you go to T. Okay. So that angle is negative X minus two. Okay. So if that's the case, does it make sense that negative X minus two equals 57? Okay, so what do you do to both sides? You plus two, right? And you get negative X equals 59. Negative X is the same as negative one X, right? So we divide by negative one. And you get X equals negative 59. Okay? Easy. Next. Rhombus LMNO. Remember, in any uh, polygon, you, to name it, you just name all of the outside angles. 
and you go in order. It doesn't matter whether you're going right or left, but notice how angle LMNO, I'm sorry, rhombus LMNO, just that starts with L and then it goes M, N, O in order. It could have been L, O, N, M, that works too, okay? But we're calling this one L, M, N, O, all right. Now, it says measure angle M, P, N. What's M, P, N? Well, start at M. Let's go to P. And then we go from there to N. Now, here's something you need to know. The in a rhombus, only in a rhombus, okay, these angles, the angles where the diagonals cross, they're all 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. And this is 90 degrees. They're all 90 degrees. All of those angles are 90 degrees. So now this becomes easy. If MPN equals X plus one, that means X plus one equals 90, right? Minus one from both sides. And your answer is 89. Done. Okay. Easy. All right. Same thing. Rhombus QRST. And it says angle RUS. What's angle RUS? Here it is. Start at R and go to U and then go to S. RUS is this angle right here. It's a 90 degree angle. So in this case, negative X minus three equals 90, right? Okay, so we're going to add three to both sides. And you get negative X equals 93. That's the same as negative one X. You divide by negative one, and X equals negative 93. Easy, okay. Let's go back to the first type of problem we did. Rhombus V, W, X, Y. In rhombus V, W, X, Y, angle W, X, Z. What is angle W, X, Z? Here's W. Go to X. And from X, you go to Z. That's that angle there. And that angle is 33 degrees. And you're being told that Y, X, Z That's this angle here. Start at Y, go to X, and from there go to Z. Y, X, Z is negative X plus eight, right? So negative X plus eight equals 33, right? Minus eight from both sides. Negative X equals 25. So that's negative one X. Once again, we divide by negative one. And you get X equals negative 25. Okay. One more time. Okay. What's angle F, I, J? Start at F, go to I, from there go to J. 
fij equals 4x plus 5. Okay. Angle hij, hij equals 57. Okay. So 4x plus 5 equals 57. I'm going to go ahead and minus 5 from both sides. 4x equals 52. Divide by 4. X equals 13. There you go. Easy. All right. You've been watching the Weiss channel. Da, 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 da. Have a good day. Say no to drugs.